We're here to talk about series two of Ordinary Lies. Yes. What can you tell us about the character you play in the drama? Um, I play a character called Neil, who is a forklift truck driver. Uh, so I work in the warehouse section of uh, the, the warehouse. You know, there's a call center and, the, and a warehouse. So um, I'm down on the floor with, with the lads. Um, yeah, and basically my the, the couple of episodes that I feature in are Holly's episode, which is episode two, and Fletcher's episode in episode five. And so Holly is his girlfriend? Yeah, so yeah, I was lucky enough to get to go out with Kimberly Nixon, who's an absolute dream. Um, she was so wonderful to work with, and um, this is kind of my first big TV job, so she was she made me feel really relaxed, and, and you know, she said to me, if, if you have any questions or if you need me to help you with anything. She was really generous like that, which, um, which uh, was nice. It made me feel uh, really comfortable on set. So it's really Holly that's kind of got the secret, isn't it? it Can is. you tell me about that? Um, I can't tell you a lot about it, obviously. I don't want to ruin it. But um, yeah, Holly, basically, I'm, ha I'm in a relationship with Holly. And she, um, she's j she, her episode really focuses on, on how it is nowadays where you look on social media and it appears that everybody else's life is, is amazing. And that's because everybody just puts the best bits up. Um, so it's about her reaction to that and, and kind of feeling left behind and a bit stuck, stuck in a rut. Um, so, so she kind of... She begins her lie and it affects, it affects my character. Um, so it, it's almost like she, from what I know, it's almost like she creates this yeah, she creates, life, Yeah, she, she creates a persona and, and uh, yeah, it's, but basically is still kind of going out with me and I know nothing about it. So it's, uh, and, and obviously as every episode untangles, you, you, you find uh, the effect that people's lies have on each other. So you say this is your first major sort of TV role. Is we know you've done lots of theatre. Yes. Is is TV sort of where you see yourself at though right now? Um, yeah, I'm, it, this was a wonderful experience, and it's come it, it's come along at the right time. I've I've done a lot of stage work. You know, spent the last kind of twelve years uh, twelve years treading the boards. So um, you, you don't realise how much energy that consumes until you stop doing it. And uh, uh, at the beginning of the year, I was I was pretty much burnt out, and then this came along, and it's given me like a new like a lease of life within within my acting and, and 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 to see the possibilities of where I could go as well so I'm really excited and I hope that uh, I hope I get to do more of this yeah do you, for obviously non-theatre goers yes. you may well still be known to them as Noel from Hearsay a yes. tag that seems to kind of follow you around yeah. are you hoping that this drama kind of gets rid of that a little bit I mean this is just a drama it's not a magical <laughs> magic wand um yeah no I mean I'm really proud of the stuff that we achieved with hearsay um and I am working furiously to reclaim Sullivan as my surname but it's difficult because I haven't gone on to anything that that is kind of fame creating um I've just been focusing on my work uh People who haven't seen me do anything in theatre are just like, where's Noel from here, say pin. But I've been like working so hard uh, to, to kind of get to this point. So um, what would be nice is if people start to... I, I, they're never going to think that I'm going to be playing a forklift truck driver anyway. So it's, it's already, hopefully, I think it's going to change people's perceptions of what, what I'm about.